Namaste, my dear friends. I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to Sosin Chakra and welcome to your reading today. This reading is for those of you who have left path two. We're going to take a look at what's happening for you in the month of November with tarot as well as get a message from the romance angel and finally a message and advice from your ancestors and spirit guides. The reading today is going to focus on love and career for the month of November. And before I move on with this reading, I just wanted to thank you, thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. Please uh, like this video, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I appreciate all of your support very, very much. Okay. And uh, please remember that this is a general reading and it might not resonate with everybody, but there is a message in there that is meant to find you today. And if you'd like a more personalized numerology or tarot reading, then uh, you can find my email in the description box below. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and let's get started. I ask my spirit guides, my gods and goddesses to bless this reading. Please provide me with the right cards and guidance for life path too. Thank you. Okay, life part two. Let's see what's happening in November. Got the hanged man. Okay, life part two. Let's see what's happening in November. The hanged man. The fool. Justice. The Hierophant, the Lovers, Temperance, Strength. Nine of Cups, the Moon, Page of Cups, the Emperor. A nine of swords, the ten of cups, two of cups, the wheel of fortune, and eight of wands. Okay, life part two. This is what I'm getting for you. With the hangman here, you're definitely in some kind of a situation where you feel stuck, like you don't know what to do. Okay? But you're coming into an awareness, your intuition is kicking in, and you're sort of listening to your intuition, but you're also in a kind of a limbo. Okay? You are not able to take any action all right and with the fool here I feel like you definitely want to uh, take this risk this chance but somewhere somehow you, you feel afraid okay there is something uh, stopping you all right the fool here is here just you know uh, feeling positive and optimistic and hangman is here contemplative so this is the kind of energy that you are in uh, during this month all right so let's have a look at what's happening in your love life with the emperor 
this could be your energy you could have Aries in your chart as well but you're somebody who's very wise mature you may be young but you're mature okay or you may be older take what resonates but you are not impulsive okay you think things through before you take any kind of uh, decision action all right but you're somebody who gets things done uh, you don't wait around this is uh, the energy of the Emperor all right but in this situation here um, what I'm sensing is that you are kind of in love with somebody I feel like this is just a beginning of a new romance here with the page of cups okay you feel romantic towards this person you want to ask them out all right there's love blossoming in here but uh, you're unable to take any action and for the most part of this month you're you're going to be up in your head thinking obsessively about this person i mean look at this you know you're having sleepless nights they're constantly on your mind okay you can't get them out of your head who is this person and even with the moon here this is uh, uh, this uh, indicates uh, there's confusion. There's no clarity in this situation. Okay, you are confused about your own feelings, but also maybe uh, you're confused about how the other person feels about you. Okay, and this is how your mood is going to be. Like you, it's going to fluctuate like the cycles of the moon. All right. Some days you're going to feel good, some days you're going to feel bad, but it's all in your head. You can't uh, get this person out of your head at all. And you're just frustrated as to what to do or what kind of action you need to take. All right. And with the justice here, what this indicates that you need to be able to think with a cool head. I know you feel that passion, you feel that romance, but with, there is a, a need for you to think things uh, rationally, okay? Try to bring uh, balance to your emotions. All right. So if you have been uh, uh, feeling very confused, feeling frustrated, anxious about this uh, new love, there it means that you you need to step out of the situation. All right, and to be more uh, logical about it what needs to be done because you can't stay in this energy for too long but I feel like you will not be in this energy for too long either okay because as a life part two you you're all about balance harmony peace I'm sensing that uh, you will need to uh, think with a clear and uh, rational mind okay but looking at the cards here I'm, I'm sensing that you're not really feeling uh, logical or rational about this uh, situation at all okay because you you want to take this uh, leap of faith you want to take this risk and a chance but you also cannot uh, make this decision I and mean, if something is stopping you 
all right but with the nine of cups I feel like your uh, your, your mood is going to lighten up okay there is something going to happen that or is happening that's uh, making you feel uh, happy you look at this you're pleased as punch okay and this is also a card of uh, wish fulfillment so whatever is this wish that you have maybe regarding this new romance this wish is coming true because you have the lovers as well in your uh, in the position of your wish so there is definitely somebody you have this intense attraction that you're drawn to this person you feel not only physically but you're emotionally and uh, spiritually attracted to this person and this person is your wish fulfillment okay so I feel like in the month of November there's something going to happen that's going to make you feel happy but you, maybe after you think about this situation clearly with a cool mind instead of agonizing uh, over it you come up with a solution all right so let's see what's happening uh, in your uh, career the career looks very good life part two you got the ten of cups okay and ten of cups indicates uh, a very stable secure happy family life you have everything that you need uh, in terms of uh, finances okay because uh, with the emperor here so th uh, this tells me that you are somebody who holds a very high position all right and the higher frontier definitely you could be a boss a ceo you know a business manager somebody who holds uh, a very high position or a leader somebody who owns their own business as well okay but this also makes you somebody who's very traditional like you don't you are the sort of person who don't like to rock the boat if things have been going well for a long period of time you're, you're somebody who doesn't like to change uh, easily right but you're uh, in the month of November your career looks good you have the wheel of fortune so there is a big change uh, coming uh, in your career this brings uh, a lucky change in your life a change that brings uh, good things okay and you have the two of cups you're going to feel very uh, uh, happy in your work like i said you have everything that you need you feel fulfilled okay i feel like your career is uh, gaining momentum here even with the eight of wands there's a lot of creative activity here things that you've been wishing for things that have been you've been working towards you know it's it's gaining momentum it's uh, uh, moving forward in the right direction okay so in the month of uh, Mo November um, I'm getting there's a lot of uh, communication uh, creative ideas exchange of creative ideas here all right so a lot of forward movement The temperance uh, card uh, indicates there's going to be a bit of patience required on your part. Okay, things are moving along as you wish. The things that you've been hoping for is coming along very well, but you will need to uh, balance your uh, energy as well. So if your energy is scattered here, like you're focusing more on love, you're thinking too much on um, this romance and love and you're neglecting work then this is um, the card that that talks about you need to bring your energy into balance okay and you need to be also patient with yourself and with your with the situation that you are in all right well you got the strength here so I feel like in the next few weeks or um, month 
you're gonna uh, feel confident in your abilities okay you have the willpower to succeed so whatever you put your mind to you're going to be successful okay you you're going you you're going to need that inner willpower all right i'm definitely sensing that you guys are some kind of leader you you the the people who look up to you okay and things are uh, turning out in your favor there's a lucky change coming your way you're going to feel confident in yourself in your skills your life your abilities all right i feel left part two you have what you need to succeed You're very resourceful and resilient, okay? And this is what's going to take you a long way, okay? So um, things look good for you, Life Part 2 in November, except for in your love life, and whatever is keeping you in this uh, energy of... Uh, anxiety you need to step out of that okay listen to your intuition also think very uh, think with a clear and cool head because right now your passion and your uh, the romance you have in your heart is just fogging up your uh, your rational thinking all right So let's see what uh, advice the angels have for you. Spirit guides and guardian angels, what advice message do you have for life part two? Wedding, the situation involves marriage. Codependency, addictions affecting your romantic life. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, life part two, some of you are already married, okay? And there is something about you or your partner that is affecting this uh, relationship, okay? Maybe some habit or negative thought patterns, codependency issues, all right? Some kind of a negative cycle that you need to break in order to uh, bring balance to the situation that is why you got the justice show okay you need to cut out something some negative uh, patterns in your life in your relationship okay and with the religious factors I'm also sensing that some of you are um, grew up in a very strict upbringing you know where your religion where your family's religious faith and their outlook on uh, marriage relationship ha affected you and still affects you in your romantic dynamic all right and this is something that you need to work on Because with the lovers in uh, here, you're definitely in love with this person, with your partner, okay? And there is um, some kind of a rift here. 
that uh, that you are and both of you need to work on okay I'm strongly sensing it's to do with your um, with your religious uh, upbringing maybe you uh, both of you have different attitudes and outlook towards uh, religion and uh, you are from different faith okay that could have created some problems and barriers in your communication and it, or it could also be some kind of uh, uh, habits that you're not being uh, you're not able to shake off and that that has created problems okay but you you still are in love with each other all right and you're strongly feeling and thinking about your person but this is a month that you need to think uh, very very mm, logically about this situation okay okay life part two so let's get a final message from your uh, spirit guides and your ancestors Guardians of the Four Corners, Mother in the Earth, Father in the Sky, Angels, Ancestors, Sacred Ones, I call on you and welcome you here and now. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. Earth Guardian uh, represents the angels of the earth. Okay, and getting this card means that there's a calling for you to connect with the earth, with the essence of the earth. All right, there's also the advice here is also for you to um, center yourself connect with your inner self okay take time out to meditate to contemplate on this uh, problem this situation and the answer will come to you all right For life part two you are awakening to some kind of truth because you are uh, you have been spending a bit of time thinking about this particular problem or situation okay and uh, the truth will, will reveal itself to you very soon all right and if you've been feeling very emotionally, uh, spiritually unbalanced, then you need to uh, get out in the nature. You can ground yourself by uh, spending more time in the nature, okay? Just getting out there, like relaxing, breathing in and breathing out, letting that uh, pent up emotions and negative thoughts just letting them out and getting into that place of uh, peace and tranquility so do not rush the process okay be patient and kind to yourself because you have the ability to uh, to ground your dreams into reality okay you see there's a lot of green here I feel like your heart chakra may be blocked so you need to uh, do some kind of uh, gentle exercises breathing exercises mm, meditations 
uh, hypnosis, hypnosis therapy to to connect with your heart space. All right. I hope you like this reading life part two. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for connecting with me. And I hope to see you soon again. Namaste.